Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Welcome to a wonderful episode of the Body Beatdown. Today is shoulder day. Uh, I have decided that today I am going to go for a new PR on my sitting barbell press. Uh, last week was all about uh, doing different movements and some from the ground uh, up over the head presses and dumbbell presses and different things. And uh, this week I'm going to focus on trying to get my PR. So before we do that, I kind of I wanted to touch base on uh, a few different types of training. You can Google these. I could have Googled them and inserted all kind of different things into this video and done two hours worth of work on this. But I didn't feel like doing that, guys. What it is is sometimes I wonder, you know, about people's different training methods and uh, what, what makes some people do certain things and other people do uh, other things. For me... Uh, I've always followed more along the lines of the bodybuilding type of traditional uh, working out. And uh, I got a list of some other types here. Now some of them are going to probably kind of correlate with the other and kind of just different wording and different meaning, you know, different words of saying the same thing. But let me uh, just kind of go over a few of the ones that I have wrote down. Uh, different types of training. You got bodybuilder, strongman, Olympic powerlifting, total body circuit, push-pull, explosive dynamic, muscular isolation, calis calis calisthenics, cal cal calisthenics, whatever, mostly body weight. And those are just a few of the categories, and you can include yoga and Pilates and all that kind of stuff too, but that'd probably go along the lines with calisthenics. That's a crazy word. Anyway, and I'm sure there's a dozen more. And uh, like I said, some of those kind of overlap into one another. But uh, you can Google each one of those and just see kind of where you fit or where you might want to fit. And uh, I also got asked by uh, one of my subscribers, uh, Steve. Appreciate it, Steve. Uh, how many sets did I do? Uh, typically, how many sets? And uh, last shoulder day, I actually did 20 sets. And uh, probably the last shoulder day before that, I probably did 15. I don't know. Uh, shoulder day, it seems like I, I end up doing more sets for some reason. Because I I think because I also incorporate uh, doing shrugs. And so I'll do like 15 sets of like pressing or raises and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, a mixture. And then I'll do like uh, five sets of shrugs. So uh, shrugs kind of put me over the mark of 15 usually. Uh, some uh, once in a while I'll, I might do 10 sets and that's usually if I do that it's gonna be for arms but nine times out of ten I'm never gonna do less than 12 sets and uh, mostly nine times out of ten again I don't think that's how that works mostly you're gonna see me doing 15 sets per body part that means 15 sets for bicep 15 for try 15 shoulder 15 chest 15 leg back etc so anyway long introduction but I wanted to touch base on a couple things that uh, might strike up some conversation leave some comments in there guys don't forget like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beat down wiki, wiki, wiki. so let's get started on the sitting barbell shoulder press uh, right now I'm warming up with 95 pounds let me check my notes Yes, 95 pounds. We're going to do two warm-up sets with 95 pounds. And I might go ahead and video most of this uh, entire workout. Just because, why not? So let's start pressing, guys.
Okay, so we got 115. Now my reps are gonna start coming down uh, significantly because I don't wanna get worn out. I wanna have enough energy to try and get my PR. We'll probably do eight reps. We got 135. All right, we got 185. 45 and Never struggled that hard in my life. 245 again. I know I'm not gonna get it, but I gotta go for it. How'd you like that, guys? That was some struggling, wasn't it? I couldn't have been any closer to locking out on that first set had I actually locked out. <laughs> I mean, I was right there. That's why I kept pushing. I could, I could feel it going like so, but I couldn't get it to where I felt comfortable enough to say, I'm done, I got it. So, Dang, I kind of I kind of thought in the back of my mind I might get that today I was closer today than I was the last time I tried 245 uh, I was I was definitely closer uh, last time uh, I didn't get near the 
the uh, the extension especially wasn't holding it there and you could see my arms today working their way up through it but I just couldn't reach you know what I would want to consider a extension you know making it a full rep so as always next time but uh no shame and uh, no shame in not getting it there's shame in not trying for sure so I'm gonna go ahead and finish out the rest of my show today it's nothing you guys will be interested in I'm sure but I'm gonna try and get in a few more sets of some things and uh, see what more I can do to my shoulders and uh, anyway like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beat down I appreciate it let's get this channel out there to the masses to the millions and millions of people around the world or billions even all right get up get out get red do it to it don't be scared to push yourself beyond your limits we'll see y'all later get up get out get red and do it do it